My dress is too short. Well now I look like my dad and everyone else can too. Years ago in the 90s I worked at a hellhole of a call center. It was my first office job and I tried really hard to be professional. What I didn't know was that a call center is basically the same as a restaurant. Everyone was sleeping with each other, on drugs, alcohol, and the managers were idiots. There was a guy who worked in a different pod who was always hitting on me. I was not interested. I did my job and went home and didn't socialize. I didn't even eat lunch in the break room because I lived about five minutes away. Well there was a manager who had been sleeping with the guy and thought I was coming between them. She would make up excuses to harass me I wasn't taking enough calls, I didn't clock in and out of the system exactly on the minute, etc. One day, she really went off the rails and started publicly shaming my outfit. I had on a dress and cardigan which she insisted was too revealing. It was to my knees and I had on pantyhose. She wrote me up and sent me home to change. I was really upset and started digging through my closet looking for something she couldn't pick apart. Then inspiration struck. My dad is a textbook accountant. Car keys, short-sleeved button-ups, and ties. So I borrowed an outfit from him I was swimming in it, you couldn't see a single curve. I went back to work and headed straight for my desk. Don't you know, the manager spotted me and made a beeline directly for me. She pulled me into HR complaining that I looked unprofessional. I told HR that this is what my dad wore every day and he is a consummate professional. HR agreed that my outfit was acceptable but the manager wouldn't let it go. The dress code was gender specific and she argued that I wasn't dressed like a woman. I ended up just going home for the day rather than deal with it anymore. A few days later, the dress code policy had been updated with vague language about looking professional and didn't even give examples of what was appropriate. The memo was posted in several places. This meant that everyone in the call center could now basically wear whatever they liked as long as it wasn't ripped jeans or a tube top. The manager was fuming because HR had taken away one of the things she could lord over people. I didn't last much longer there but hopefully, no one ever changed the dress code back. Edit. Thank you so much for your votes and comments. I have tried to reply to most of them. And to everyone who shared their own sucky work experiences, solidarity. I hate managers like that with a burning passion. I'm so glad you got one over on her before you pieced out. I love it when shit people can't get their way, it makes me smile. One of the many reasons working from home is great is you don't have a stupid dress code. Gender specific dress code. That sounds like an invitation to a lawsuit, to me. And she argued that I wasn't dressed like a woman. Complaining to HR that your employee doesn't look womanly enough. What the fuck did she think was going to happen? One hot summer, our call center management advised we could wear shorts to work. One guy wore tight bicycle shorts and then nobody could wear shorts. I don't understand why you need to look professional to begin with. Considering the only people who see you are you, your co-workers and your bosses. It's a call center. I would have wore a tux. You found shitty management, trigger read a small change, and got out. Sounds like a huge fucking win. I always had a laugh with how strict some cal centers are. I worked at one for two years and they would yell at you if you were wearing leggings and a sweater. Even though no one ever came to our office and it was a call center who cares what they wear. I now work it as a admin assistant and wear whatever I want as long as it's not ripped or torn. If gender specific dress codes aren't illegal, they should be. Should have told her you know why she's harassing you and if she keeps it up you'll do it. I bet that would have gotten her off your back too. You are a call center, but no others that tried to push for three price suits to be worn, but they forgot to mention colors, so a bunch went to a party place and got suits in all sorts of bright colors, the type of clothes part got dropped from the required part. I was fired within a month of the company holiday party, I can only assume it was because I danced with my supervisor's husband, not like slow dancing or anything intimate, just dancing on the dance floor to pop music, within two weeks of the party she was complaining to everyone about getting a divorce. Constantly, two weeks later I'm fired with dubious reasons. This was a joy to read. Thank you for sharing. I love that you're the unprofessional one while the manager is banging an employee. What I didn't know was that a call center is basically the same as a restaurant middle school. FTFY. Did the guy who was trying to hit on you find you more irresistible in your dad's clothes, which made your manager even madder? Excellent. It reminds me of this comic. This is what I was picturing as I read it. Didn't come out the same because I hadn't finished while thinking this. Manager, she looks unprofessional. HR, looks fine to us. Manager, 
The dress code is gender specific. You. I have a photo of what I was wearing earlier that she also called unprofessional that would be gender specific. I don't understand if she wants me to be dressed professionally or as a woman or come in naked. Manager. This is clearly a Karen. HR. We think we know who the Karen is here. Manager. Good. No Karen should work here. Wow. This shit must be sop for call centers in general, cause OP's description of her sounds exactly like the ones I worked in. Wait. HR sided with an employee. What? I got caught in the middle of some bullshit like this once. My manager told her other direct report, also another manager, who let her staff wear shorts and ripped jeans to work that she needed to make them change etc. Then somehow, even though I didn't take any sides on the matter or care, I was being sent home suddenly for my dresses being too short. Dresses I've worn before with no issue and the other girl even complimented me on, because the other direct report wanted to retaliate against her through reporting me. I wish I did something like you did. Instead I kept wearing short dresses and being sent home to change. I have a long torso every fucking dress looks short on me. What I didn't know was that a call center is basically the same as a restaurant. Everyone was sleeping with each other, on drugs, alcohol, and the managers were idiots. What? What are the restaurants like where you live that this seems like an obvious comparison to you? I used to work in a call center and it's exactly the way you describe it, shitty managers and everyone sleeping with everyone, but we didn't have a dress code. Almost all of my co-workers were barefoot around the office, sweatpants, shorts and flip-flops in summer and because it was for a German company, there were many European co-workers and they would go braless, not something common in my country. This is how I picture you in that outfit. Did you highlight to HR about her complaining your original outfit? This literally happened to me in 2019. Too long or not whether appropriate was commented on as well. Some managers just really got to micromanage and knock you down with something. Anything when they have nothing else to critique. I checked with HR and what I wear is 100% company policy complaint. It says way more about them than it does about you. As you left you should have gone to her and told her, well now that I am not working here I can go out with boyfriend's name, if I want to, dot cr. Love your username. Vanna White plus Vanta Black. You need to be more unsexy. No, that's too much now you need to be less unsexy. JFC lady you're all over the road with this one. Too long did not read. In this story HR is competent. What? No one is going to believe that. Gotta love how someone gives a damn about how people look when they're there only to take calls. I worked in a call center too and no one gave a damn as long as people wore clothes and took care of their personal hygiene. She was upset that you weren't dressed like a woman. You could have really got her in trouble for sexism over that. Office jobs are just like high school. Same politics but different age. It's ridiculous. Love that shit. Some people deserve to stay in the abyss and stay an imp forever. Isn't this considered harassment in a hostile work environment? Yup can confirm what you said about call centers being like the restaurant per bar industry, I've worked in both. I lost track of the amount of times I would stay up all night partying and then go straight to work still high as a kite from the night before. Ah, yes, 90s call centers. Where I met my wife. Shocker. Worked in a call center exactly like this and was sent home by my manager for my skirt being too short, despite the fact that one of the girls in her little clique was wearing a skirt 4-5 inches shorter than mine. Toxic AF, I lasted three months before I left. I spent the late 90s in a tech support call center. Never in my life have I been treated so childishly. Good luck going to the bathroom during your hours. Your break time was supposed to be spent studying. Your call times had to be precisely what could be billed the most without pissing off the contracted company. Love your username, it's like Van to Black meets Vanna White. Magnificent. I hate managers like this who get personal under the guise of being professional. Love the way it backfired on her. If that was during winter, you would have been nice and toasty warm as well, instead of freezing cold. Big brain. Ugh, it's a call center. The customer can't even see you. She doesn't want you to dress like a woman but still want you to dress like a woman. And hash x200b. What about her? What I didn't know was that a call center is basically the same as a restaurant. Everyone was sleeping with each other, on drugs, alcohol, and the managers were idiots. This is such an apt description of a call center it brought a tear to my eye. If you knew the tea why didn't you speak up about it? Wow you must go to some dodgy restaurants grin.